Alrighty. I just want like a two cost unit here. With the spatula. So I got two cost unit and I got a uh, unit with a spatula, so. You know, fair, fairly optimal for uh, for the first carousel there. Alright. So, the only reason you'd keep this is to like maybe like two rangers, but you really don't. So you get the five gold, and you just, you get everything. You get the best chance to get a one cost, a tier two of a one cost. One cost have, obviously right now, a higher percent chance to hit in the uh, each, each roll. So you want to be... Collecting one cost to get them to tier two. And it doesn't matter what you put in the first uh, three, uh, the three uh, mini waves in the first three, any pair of the uh, units will win. And they'll automatically put your units in, so you don't really have to uh, put them in yourself. You can just focus on down here. All right, so obviously, <laughs> Obviously, yes, Graves. I am feeling lucky. <laughs> I just got three, or, yeah, four total there. So that's good. And I'm just trying to get everything. There's no need to, you know, save money at this point. We're just trying to get duplicates. Just trying to get tier twos like this guy. Um, so, we got Gunslinger, clearly. But we only have one. See what everyone else is kind you know, it's, it's for me. I always think it's important to look at other people's boards just to see what they're doing. It's not overly impactful in getting to look at their boards because obviously you're just gonna get whatever you get. Uh, there's no real too many decisions because you only have so much gold. You can't like re-roll for stuff, so you have to just go at go for whatever you got. Um, another grave. Feeling lucky. The dark. Should fear me. Hmm. Yeah, just get the one cost. Uh. Not really a whole lot I can do here. I don't want to use my items because I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So I want to really just chill with the items. I mean, right now I could do. Yeah, yeah, no items right now for me are good. Because, like, you'd want to put, like, red buff on Graves, because his auto attack is, like, spread. So. I think I might win this for that, yeah. Actually surprised I won that. Because right now I'm not really trying to win uh, the rounds, like, not purposely at least. I just kind of wanted to see where I was at. Because if I lost that one, I would just throw my first three rounds. Int, as they call it. Int. Alright, so I got two graves. Like, that's... That's pretty good. So he'll probably be my carry. My, uh... My DPS carry, I'm guessing. I mean, I shouldn't really lose... With three tier twos. I mean, you'd think, you'd think I wouldn't, but... Uh, get Mordekaiser, so I have two Mordekaisers, two Warwicks, two Veins. Uh, and well, we'll just sit this one out. There's not much more I should do here. I should win. I mean, he does have Thorn Mail, but I don't know if that's going to matter or not. Doesn't look like it. So a decent start. We just want to keep the win streak going then, if at all possible. I mean, there easily could be someone who has a better calm out there, but 
If I could just get one more Gunslinger, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, I guess another Mordecai would be ideal. Yeah, I didn't get anything I wanted here. This is unfortunate. So I'll just put Mordekaiser in as my fourth to get two knights. Uh, I guess I get a second Elise. Kinda. This is not happening, so I get rid of him, right? Yeah. Uh, get the Garen. It's tempting to go get Lysandra. Uh, Lysandra. Because usually if you go knights at all, there's a good chance Glacials will kind of work in with that. So it's something to consider, and it's something about somehow to put, how to put that in. I feel like I should get rid of my shapeshifters, because I don't see that being possible for me. I really want the little. I can't believe it. Did I lose this? I think I did. That's really, yeah, this casting is so strong. Wow. Alright. Well, we're gonna do this. Uh... It, I want 10 gold, but at the same time, I think it's too good to get at least the Lysandra. Because normally you'd want that 10 gold for the interest, but uh, I'm going to put the value of having the Lysandra as a possibility for my comp uh, higher up. Alright, so what do I need right now? Getting the Giant spell would be huge for me, because I want red buff. Red buff on my graves would be just disgusting. Alright, so he took that, so that's super annoying. So I guess next I just want armor, probably. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll do it. i get armor. It's like, usually armor is not the thing you'd uh, think about picking, but since I don't know what my DPS is going to look like, and right now my DPS is looking like Graves. Graves is like red buff, um, I'm just going to get another armor. Yeah. Uh... Get rid of them. Um, none of this is great. I don't. I do want to throw items on soon, though. I'm gonna leave it be for right now. I just don't see myself get anything good here. I do have spatula plus armor to give me another knight, which could be really, really helpful in the end. Do I get any of these? I guess... Possible rangers. There's no way I'm going assassins. It's just kind of counterproductive to get that. It'll just clog up my uh, my bench here. And I just can't. It's not worth it. Yeah, I'm not taking some losses here. Not a huge deal, as we all know. But I do have to start forming my composition before it's too late. It's getting near that break point where you start to really need a composition. There's a gunslayer. So maybe I give Graves the knight. Make him a knight. So he can be front line and pretty strong. Take out Take out him. So I'm looking at something like this. Two knights there. Oh, this is a better gunslayer. Um, actually, I don't know if he's better. I know they buffed him, so I, I think he's a little bit better. I'm not sure how much better. He should have been in the front line, of course, but... We're not worried about it. We're not worried. I'm thinking about putting Ionic Spark on someone. So every time they use a... Uh, I put that item on someone, so every time they use their abilities, they take 200 damage. It's not a bad idea. None of these do anything for my comp. I'm pretty much committed to knights and gunslingers. And possibly some ice, some glacial action. However, I do really want to sell this for more gold. Uh, I'm not going archers. <laughs> Made the decision, split decision. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Let's take care of this. Uh, I'm not sure if Graves has range. I kind of want to. I kind of want to see if he does. And just to ensure we win this minion round, I'm putting uh, Tristana here. And I know you guys probably already know this by now, but all my minions are on the right, so they can focus down this one Krug over here. 
and then therefore, after because after you kill Krug, the other Krugs gain full health, so you want to kill one at a time, so kill the one on the right first, classic. And then it should be all good from there. Part of me wants to really roll for a... Uh... Oh wow, that's a lot of gold. I want to roll for uh, Graves 3. I really... Is anyone else running Graves 3? Or just Graves all rather? Can't really tell. I'll look at the beginning of this round. Tristana too, wow. See, we kind of found like... Yeah, so he's going wild. He's going... Yeah, he's not really cemented yet. He's like Knights and Rangers-ish with a little bit of Noble. A uh, little bit of Gunslinger. Yertle, I guess. So Grave should be open, and I kind of want to roll for it. Kind of. Kind of do. Um, I can get Blade Master. Is Aatrox any good to me? I mean, I do have a Gangplank. So he's like Gunslinger and Blade Master, so maybe it's actually... It's not terrible to get him. Get Darius for a fourth knight. Four knights is strong, so why not? Because I have, yeah. So the question is, do I start stacking my Tristana? No, I really want red buff, which is why I need giant spell. I need giant spell, so I can put giant spell and the armor on Graves. He'll be a knight, and he'll have red buff, which is pretty huge. There's second Lysindra. Alright, so Warwick's not happening. We know this now. It's just, uh, it's not part of our comp. So we can start looking for what we really need here. Kind of committed ourselves. Um, there's no Blitzcranks, right? It's gonna, yeah. Alright. Someone got a Draven already. That's a little concerning. But right now, I'm just keeping my economy going a little bit, which is my economy's doing pretty well. Compared to everyone else's, yeah. They got like two, three, yeah. All right. I'm like tied for the best economy right now. But as you can see, I do not have the strongest units yet, but that will change as soon as I uh, use my items. So, we're not in any trouble where we need to, like, freak out yet, so. We're just gonna stay composed here. Got Lysindra. It's huge. I kind of wish I saved the knight buff for her. That'd be sick. Feel the power of true but, ice. Because right now, again, I want to be patient. So, right now it's tempting to put in, uh, you know, Mordekaiser and Darius and replace, you know, someone for, like, four knights, to get four knights. And get the uh, that bonus for four knights. Because right now my knights are blocking 10, 20 damage. They block 40 damage if I had four of them. So. But I don't want to rush right now. It's, there's no need to rush right now. I'm not getting beat hard enough for it to matter. My Gangplank's just chilling over here. What the heck? <laughs> Gangplank's taking a little vacation. If he was actually playing, he might actually have done damage there. See, that was a... I took some damage there. That was a big hit. It's unfortunate. But we'll be fine. Plenty of health. 58. Healthy man. Healthy, healthy life. Um, Alright. So I could get Spatula again? I could get another knight. Oh, that'd be so sick. Because I have armor already. No, don't you dare take the Spatula. Oh, what a jerk. Alright, so since he took that, now Giant's Belt should be my goal. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so I got the Giant's Belt. There's nothing else here. Part of me thinks I should roll for Graves. And I really... Because the more I level up, the less chance I have to get Graves. Because the chance to get Tier 1s... Or not Tier 1s, but the 1 cost units... It decreases as you level up, so you want to get it earlier. And I probably should have rolled earlier than... Like, already. However, I just got another Graves. So... There's another one. Alright, who do I replace? Aatrox, you're not happening, right? Oh wait, he goes away. Alright, so he gets the giant's belt. 
and he gets the red buff. So he's locked and loaded there. Uh, I guess I should try. I should get rid of Darius. So am I not going four knights? That's the real question. Get rid of Aatrox. Bolly Bear. This is a tough choice, but I think I I don't want to force knights. And because my knights aren't strong enough right now, I think I get rid of these. And maybe later I can go knights. So this next go at it, I am going to Wow, my Wow, my Garen. That was insane. He just spun and killed everyone. What a hero. I don't care if you die there. That's a hero hero move. But yeah, so I'm gonna roll for graves. I only need two more graves, I'm just gonna roll. Roll for graves. And it should work. I mean, I, I don't think there's that many graves out there. I should probably check, right? I shouldn't be dumb about this. Let's check. Yeah, I think I'm gonna roll for graves. There's the one right there. Let's get the uh, ice people on the way. Glacials. Another glacial. There's Brom. We're rolling. Tristana. Uh, Alright, we'll chill here at 53. We're not doing bad. Who do I get rid of now? I'm getting cluttered here. Getting cluttered. Uh, I don't really need... I kind of want to get this other Garen. Maybe I hold off on the Tristanas. I feel like, nah, I feel like I shouldn't. I'll leave Darren. I'll leave Darren right now. But I'm starting to actually lose. So I'm going to have to actually pick up the pace here. Uh, I, have, yeah, I have 39 health. Time to start really going at the rolls here. This is like common for me where I get like super low and I usually just uh, power up pretty quickly. Here we go. One more graves. That's all we need. There it is. That's just absolutely huge. And we're gonna put some, uh... Oh, I don't need Gangplank in here. I already have two Gunslingers, so put him in there. Two Ice. Tuck Garen in there. Sure, get that. Oh, yeah. We just got a lot stronger. So then next we'll gain two. So next, after the Wolves, we'll level up once. We'll put another person in. I mean, with Graves 3, he's gonna do work. Especially with red buff, like that's just classic. Red buff, he's a knight. I mean, look at that, he just destroyed those wolves. His like spread shot is just so nice. All right. So we can increase his attack speed, that seems good. I think I'm gonna do it, I think I'm gonna give him Rage Blade. Oh, do I give him Rage Blade or do I give him Ooh, I think I give him Curse Blade. Right? Yeah, he gets Curse Blade. Yeah, he got Curse Blade. Okay. Curse Blade's just better because he has Spread Shot and has an on hit effect. So we're going to do that. We're going to level up. Put in Volley Bear. Something like that. And then we have a huge economy as well. So we're just going to level up now. And There's not many that will beat us right now, I don't think. Oh my god, the Graves and the Cursed Blade. I need to put I need to put Graves in the right corner though. So he's shooting into the enemy. Right now he's only like shooting one at a time, and the whole point is that he shoots like everyone. So I have to place Graves better. For sure. I mean, he is doing work right now, so it's fine. We're not even worried. Uh, yeah, I got 75 gold. We're just gonna go all the way up. Who do I put in now, though? Just another Tristana. While we're waiting. Yeah, I mean, we're not gonna lose. At least we're not gonna lose badly enough where we die, so. I'm gonna put him in the corner, so hopefully he shoots out into them. I think that's the play. I'm pretty sure he should be in the corner. Oh, oh, no, I just saw Volley Bear. No, Volley Bear too. That's fine. No, Graves. Graves, get in there. No, don't kill my Graves. 
Alright, yeah, we didn't lose badly, but we lost. That's fine. If my Volley Bear 2 or 2 is in there, we wouldn't have lost that badly. It's a shame. First first mistake. First noticeable mistake at least. Ooh, we got the Ash. Oh, four glacial. Ooh. Another Tristana. Oh, that's not Tristana. <laughs> that's that's freaking uh Poppy. Um How's my positioning overall? Can I beat this better? I feel like maybe I want him here. And him over here. I'm gonna try it. I'm not really positive where I want my graves. I think Braum's good there because he blocks. Although these assassins just jumped right over. That's okay, my main my main damage carry is graves, so the assassin's killing my back line with you. Come on, Graves, carry me. Oh, he's dead. Hmm, maybe I should have increased his attack speed. Now I'm thinking about it. But his attack speed is so low to begin with, I feel like. I'm gonna get rid of Gangplank, not gonna use him. Let's get that 50 gold. Alright, do I get. I get first choice, right? Alright, so what do I need? Ooh, KL. Ooh, KL, or do I get. Uh. Uh, I think it's KL. Although it's so tempting to get. Maybe do I? That's that's a hard choice. I don't know. <sighs> I'm not sure which one was the right answer there, because the Sujani, Sejuani, so however you say her name, this character right here, uh, she would give me five glacials, and I don't have a six, so instead I went for the KL because that's a knight. And she's a legendary, so I felt like that was better. Overall. I'm like more likely to get four knights than I am to get, you know, six glacials, I feel like. Swiftly now. I do need to start stepping it up right now, so otherwise I'm gonna die. Just breaking my economy. I think he was better over here. And then I'm actually gonna leave KL in. Get Ionic Spark on her. The ability power doesn't help her, but I don't think it does at least. It might. It might. But the Ionic Spark will definitely help. Yeah. There, my, my graves didn't work there. There we go. Okay, that's better. That's better. Always win. There's so many decisions to make, and it's like. I find myself not making him fast enough sometimes. I just think, is Darius ever going to happen? Like, we got four Glacials, two Knights, two Gunslingers. I'm one off Nobles, though. That's pretty nice. But one Noble buff is not that great late game. It Only the full Noble buff is good late game. So... But, so I'm not doing Darius. So that's not happening. Er, oh, I'm one off. Another night. Yeah. I'm just not sure. Oh gosh. Jeez, the red buff on Graves is disgusting. He did 3,000 damage there. He's still my. He's my main carry. Yeah, Bra Bring Brahm, I guess. Garen three is not happening. Poppies. I don't think that's happening. But I guess she's better than Darius now. So, get rid of that. Organize my stuff. Uh, so, ideally, she gets. I. She will shield Graves, uh, Kael. So, her ult, she does that, uh, the Divine Judgment. She puts shields around the weakest ally. So, that should really help Graves stay alive, even if he takes damage, heavy damage in the beginning. Um, yeah. Last two seconds. Hmm. Okay. And I'm not gonna lose against these, so I'm just chilling right now. People are starting to get eliminated. I. 
I'm not sure how possible it is for me to win this game yet. I haven't really looked too much at the enemy team and what they're running. Ooh, another Cursed Blade. Yeah, that's another Cursed Blade. Give that to KO. Ooh. I think... Oh, Leona goes in. She definitely goes in. I have three knights. Wait, what's the knight? That doesn't matter. Uh, uh, uh... I think Garen? Or... Yeah, oh, because I have that. I think Garen goes out. Yeah. She goes in for the noble and the uh, guardian buff. That's insane. That's actually insane. Okay. That should be really, really strong. Oh, wait, she needs Curse Blade. Oh my gosh, Kale is just shielding. Oh, yes. Ooh. Alright, so I gotta do my positioning a little better with KL. Or not KL. With uh, Leona and Braum. So they're getting the Guardian buff, which gives, uh, to start a combat, adjacent allies plus 40 armor. And this armor can stack. So who do I want the armor stacked on is, my, is the question I have to ask myself. Probably Graves. Because then if Graves doesn't die, he's my main carry. I want to put a lot on her. I feel it. Like, I wonder if my volley bear is in the wrong spot. I'm actually not sure. So my grave should have 80 armor. And he has 80 armor now. He has 160 armor. Oh my lord, my graves can't die. I mean, he can die, but it has to be magic damage. Look at him. Oh my goodness. What? Just carry me, graves. Carry me. He's still not dead. He was on the front line. He's still not dead. <laughs> Let's kill that guy. Okay. Alright. So this is the fun part of the game. It's just like, how to make your comp as broken as possible. And it's and a lot of people don't know they buffed Guardian, where they it can stack infinitely. So, that's basically what I did. And I think right now, I think I might just rush a level. Because I have 23 health. Rush a level, get someone else. Oh, uh, all right. I won't rush it yet. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be greedy and wait one more time. I, th I don't think I should die, but this guy is running the assassins, and I really am not teched against him. Although I am kind of with guardians with all this armor and my glacials. I mean, what am I talking about? I am teched against them. Uh, glacials plus uh, plus the uh, all the armor. Like I said, my Graves has 160 armor. 120 now. I wonder how the armor dropped. Oh, maybe the Guardian buff goes away when they die? No. I can't be right. I actually, I actually don't know. I'm actually not sure about that. I just get a second KO? Oh, Why'd you steal that? What a jerk. Uh... So, I just want attack speed on my KL, right? It's tempting to get the spatula, but it doesn't help me any. And I'll just get, I'll just get uh, the highest cost one. And the health is not bad, so. I get, this, is, this is definitely winnable, for sure. I should, I'm in a position where I should be able to win. Why is oh, okay? Oh, I kind of want to leave MF in. You just level up. Yeah, <laughs> just leave misfortune in. Is there a blitz? If there's a blitz, I kind of want Tristana pool. Now nah, I want I want Ash pool. If there's a blitz, this gives me a little extra magic damage with uh. Hundred and sixty armor graves. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh gosh, this is <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. I kinda went for a wide for like uh I went for max uh people on the board because 
one, I, I had the economy to do it, and I'm not confident I could level up people to three, uh, to, to a tier three unit. So that's kind of why I went that direction. And I'm tempted to put another Brahmin, in, because his, he, it will actually stack. And then I get him to, I think that's the play, right? I'm doing it. Give health to her. So now my grave should have what, 200 armor? Yeah, he has 200 armor. <laughs> he has 200 armor. I don't even care that my Braum can't move. My Graves cannot be killed unless there's magic damage. <laughs> and if Graves lives, I win. See, it doesn't matter how much health this person has because I have the red buff. I mean, the damage has already been done. I mean, KL's going ham, I mean... I think my positioning can be a little bit better. But overall... I don't know, I, honestly... I can't decide. Because I feel like my misfortune did a lot of work last round, so... This whole buff is, uh... Maybe I should get the buff onto KL. KL surviving seems better. And then Bolly Bear should be on the outside anyways. I just don't like that my Braum can't move. Oh wait, this is dragon anyway, so we'll do that. This is dragon. Alright, so I could try to level something up. Oh, my ash should be leveled up. What am I doing? Like, actually, what am I doing? Oh! The dragon has phantom dancers, which is what I need, because the both other guys are assassins, I think. That's pretty ideal. Wait, who gets it, though? The phantom dancers. So who needs to not be critted <laughs> is basically the answer. Got Ash too, that's pretty big. Maybe Ash honestly gets the... Because I don't want her to be critted. And she gets jumped on in the beginning. Alright, so we'll just start rolling then. We're, we're rolling for just anything we have. Tristana. Uh, Ash. Eh. We kind of want the, net, the last Kale. Leona. Uh, Alright. Alright, Poppy's not happening. Get her out of here. That's not happening. Get her out of here. Alright, so now we're cleaned up our line up here. Oh no. I'm losing hard here. Oh, because he's magic. Ooh, I think I died. Ooh, I'm alive. I'm alive. Okay. All right. all right, all right, all right, start really, just finish up anything I can do here, Brom, ooh, there we go, so we'll put the second KL in, uh, is it in a good spot, uh, Volley Bear should be here, get that armor, uh, anything else, Zwani, come on, give me KL, misfortunes, there's another misfortune. Ah, uh, well, it is what it is at this point. Come on, he is a strong team. Come on, a little bit better. Yes, yes. In infinite KL shields. <laughs> Not infinite, but... Alright. So, I'm looking for just Leona 2, and then KL 3. And I'm going to leave Misfortune here, in case I do get a KL 3. And we just have to roll here. here comes the food. Oh, that is... That is actually huge. That could make a huge difference right there. Uh, it's just it's just a matter of more health. Uh, she has 55 armor by herself, so so basically our KLs are making us immune to any damage, which is how we're going to beat this magic comp. Well, this is not the magic comp. This this is a uh, Raven Central. Yes, I'm just shielding everyone. 
They can't die. Oh my lord. How much health does Brom have? <laughs> oh. Calculated. Yeah. But basically what I did there was I kind of just leveraged my, uh, my economy. So at the end there, I could kind of go whichever direction I wanted to go. Hey guys, welcome to the recap. This is where I want to talk about all the things that went well in the game, what things I could have done better, uh, just to give you guys uh, something to to reflect on as well as myself so we can all just improve uh, our own gameplay. So the things that went well, just right off the bat, uh, let's start from the beginning. I got the two cost unit so I could sell it, you get the two gold, and the important part was not just the unit because it's pretty easy to get the two cost unit, not a big deal, but the spatula. Getting the spatula, uh, People know it to be the best item, uh, especially early on, so you can like maneuver and, and just uh, really kind of build around it like I did. I used it for to build a knight, so now my composition was able to more easily go knights, even though at the end I only had two knights. So that was really important, and I had that available in my game plan the whole time. The next thing, so we have graves. We all know, we saw at the very beginning, I got three graves, oh it was actually four, and the important thing about that is I, you know, it's one thing, yes, that was lucky to get three, but to not throw that away. Instantly in my head, I'm like, okay, I can go Gunslingers. How do I build around this Graves? The first, So the first thing I talked about even during the gameplay was I wanted to give him red buff. Uh, that red buff, the item, allows him to use his on-hit effects because his, uh, his hit has a spread, his, his spread shot. So he has not just a chance to hit one person to apply the red buff, which burns for a two-point... I think it's like 2.5% of their max health, but he has a chance to hit like three people or even more. Uh, so that is really important. That's a huge damage output. As you saw, that that was doing a lot of the damage in the late game. So even if they're tanky, they're still taking all this damage because that item makes them take a percentage of their max health uh, to the damage. Uh, so that part went well. Uh, I definitely, uh, the important part was I rolled for tier three graves. And but before I did that, you'll notice I was looking around other boards, see what my ch actual chances were. And you notice I had to do it earlier on because you try to roll for graves later. Yes, it is possible to still get the tier three, but it's much less likely. The higher level you go, the less likely it is to get the lower cost units. So you have to really uh, weigh that and remember that in your mind. So that part was executed well. I got the tier three uh, graves. Uh, and then from there, my game plan even more so revolved around him. I knew from then, Tier 3, he's my DPS. He's my DPS carry. Uh, and I just started stacking items on him. He was a knight. Uh, so I, he had the knight buff of blocking 20 damage. He had the red buff so he could apply the burn damage. And he also, in the end, had I gave him the curse blade. So why did I give him the curse blade? Again, he has an on-hit effect with his spread shot. So he has a chance to hit more than one person with a spread shot, making him pretty broken. Because what the Curse Blade does has a low chance on hit to lower their star level. So if they're three star, they go to two star. If they go to two star, they go to one star. And just think about how much health that is that they're losing, how much health, armor, etc. Uh, so my, my overall build for my carry was really, really, really important. So my next objective, how to keep Graves alive, was essentially what was in my mind. And some of the best things I did in the game was these one of two things. The first one, you'll see I kept the Lysindra. I kept saying, oh, you know, knights can usually kind of go well with Glacial. Uh, that's my opportunity to, you know, it keeps, keeps that flexibility for me. So I kept the Lysindra, uh, and she came in huge, with, along with the other Glacials I ended up collecting. Uh, to use my, that's what, that was the CC I used, the crowd control. And that's important because if I'm freezing the enemy, they can't, you know, hurt or kill my graves. So that worked out for the mid game, kept my graves alive. But as you saw through the late game, it wasn't enough to keep them alive. So what you saw me do, which was the game winning thing that I did, was use the guardian buff. I had the Leona and the, the Braum. And you only need those two to get the guardian buff. So everyone around them gets a plus 40 armor and it can stack infinitely. So that's why you saw me put the third Braum in there. So again, you guys can go back in the video and watch and, and you can see uh, the, the certain things I did and, and how that worked out. And I pointed out during the match, uh, Graves had 200 armor, uh, 200 armor. So he is, you know, 200 armor plus he's blocking 20 damage from the night buff plus the magic resists. So really he could only truly die to crits, really huge crits 
or he only die to magic damage. And again, the other thing I helped with that was I used the KLs. The KLs make the lowest uh, the lowest uh, health minion gives him a shield, gives the champion a shield. As you saw, those shields were flashing everywhere near the end because I had two KLs. Because I knew the only way I could die was through magic damage. And if Graves survived, I win. Essentially, that was the game plan. If Graves survives, I win. Other than that, what allowed me to do all that, and this is kind of like the finishing uh, aspect of all, you'll saw throughout the game, I leverage my economy. If I thought I could buy a unit that would be actually helpful to my economy, uh, or helpful to my game plan, rather, I kept it, like Lysindra. I was like, I could have like sold her and got that extra bit of uh, interest income, but I decided it's more valuable if I could go Glacials uh, later in the match, which I actually did and actually ended up being huge. Uh, so throughout the match, that was just an instance. And then at the end, I was able to go level. I was at my max level. I could have as many people on the board as possible. I was really able to just start re-rolling and getting the people I wanted. I got Leona at the end. I got the KLs. Uh, so all that was huge in terms of, of me winning uh, the game. Uh, other than that, it's important to remember uh the glacials and you saw the power of their crowd control them stunning you see i didn't push the six glacials i only went four so you have to remember when it's worth pushing uh to get the full bonuses or whether you need to like stay uh within four you have to realize how many people you have on the board so how many, how like can you afford to push for that final buff because it usually does cost a lot uh and that's another thing my spatula helped with i was able to go two nights with only one knight and that's the power of the spatula again so it kind of you know comes back to that comes back to the graves uh and, and all those things that went right uh i want to keep this short uh even though this is actually quite long but there's a lot to kind of talk about and understand through these games and hopefully i got the gist of it there and basically my win condition was graves graves was carrying the damage you'll see in the right corner you'll see the damage of all the units he was carrying the damage if i kept him alive which he was near he was pretty much unkillable at the end because of the guardian buff so hope you guys learned a lot from that L let me know in the comments if there's anything i missed there's always things i did wrong like i missed you know like whether it's re-rolling i'm missing some characters or whether you know my gold uh economy could have been actually uh more better like better uh taken care of like i could have kept probably more interest at some points i probably could have sold some units at other points uh but yeah again let me know don't be afraid to to, to just say stuff that maybe that could have been done better you know we can all learn from it uh i'll keep doing this recaps after the matches i really think we can learn from it and yeah i'll see you in the next one